This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Jesus is the way, the truth, the life dot com. So that uh, drone could just sit there for days, uh, and until the moment where it uh, notices a you know police, a, you know police activity of possible interest, and you could go back later, go through the video, and see if it got anything interesting. These AI would be programmed uh, so that they are not capable of boredom, right? Because they would be, they would like enjoy every moment that they're doing this. Well, these are just a, th- a few things I can think of off the top of my head that you could do with. With uh, with drone droids that really don't have much dexterity, imagine how many more things would be possible if you had robots who were capable of moving things and running appliances in a dexterous dexterous sort of way, or larger robots that you'd bring with the with you and they would carry certain things. In my line of work, again, I think of you know they, maybe they could get some video that you're not getting. Or videotape you while you're videotaping others. Videotape a wide shot while you're videotaping a tight shot. While you're shopping, they could do half of the shopping for you. But, you know, if a real seven-year-old has human rights, then a programmed artificial entity with the intelligence of a seven-year-old, you know, maybe it would have certain rights too. And, you know, probably pretty soon a formula needs to be developed for how one determines at what point does an AI have rights, what characteristics must it have, and what rights does it have. So he can make you carry it and throw it for him because he loves catching sticks. With dogs, you know, who have roughly a four-year-old intelligence, we, I think most of us tend to think that a dog has the right to not be tortured or starved or left out in the cold. On the other hand, most people probably also tend to think that the dog doesn't really have a right to live. You know, so it's like, it's considered legal and maybe ethical to take a dog to the pound, where it would be painlessly killed if no one wants it. I'm thinking AI, because since they're going to have more intelligence than that and more responsibility than a dog, are going to need and deserve more rights. And if an AI is just as intelligent as a person, uh, an adult, you know, just as capable of uh, carrying out responsibilities, or if she has the potential to reach that point. For instance, a, a, a five or six year old later on, they will be an adult with responsibility capability. So, an AI who's only as intelligent as a five year old, but later will be as intelligent as a full blown human, well, you'd have to kind of figure they're going to ha- have to have the same rights. I thought it was kind of interesting in one of the. Matrix movies, it was the Animatrix, uh, where they they sort of alluded to this idea that a an artificial intelligence could be thought to have rights, uh, for instance, the right to live, if it were to request that it not be killed. Uh, this same concept came up in, in the movie AI or Artificial Intelligence by, uh, I guess it was the Steven Spielberg bunch, or uh, at least uh, Bonnie Curtis, one of uh, Spielberg's people one of my classmates, actually, she, her movie postulated this idea, or at least, you know, showed how it would look if an AI begged for its life and how people would, would freak out about that and really maybe think, well, maybe this AI should not be killed, you know, or deleted or whatever. Porcupine Christians. Even if you don't want to get arrested with them, you might want to hang out with them. You see, Porkfest isn't just for libertines. Besides having a big tent, it is a big tent. Drop by campsites two and four to find the FSP Christians. There you can fellowship with normal people, or not normal, as the spirit leads. Learn more at Jesus is the way, the truth, the life, dot com.